Hello everyone, Red Eternal here, and welcome to another VHS reaction. I think this is number 7. And today we are continuing on the Walton Files. And... Oh boy, what this is to be... The last time we got, I got scared utterly to death by that rabbit. And that light touch, Jesus Christ, I will never recover from that. But anyways... Uh, we are doing the relocate project that was uploaded on June the 29th, 2020. And before we begin, we are super close to our 100 subscriber count, ladies and gentlemen. So please, subscribe, like, and comment what else you would like me to react to VHS-wise or anything else. And yes, let us begin, as always. <laughs> Honey is Miles Incorporated. Company by Cyberfun in Tech 19 7 blank. Hello, buddy. We meet again. Someone just flashed on there, I didn't see that. Whoops. <laughs> Nineteen seventy eight. Hello, there we BSI go. members and employees, and welcome to the tape that will change the future of the Bonds Burgers brand and the Bunny Smiles Company for the better. That's right, after four long years of legal paperwork, we finally decided to use our backup plan, which we created after the tragic. What's that black what's that fire black out to fire black out though? Ladies and gentlemen, we now present to you the relocate project. But before we go into details, we want to greet all the new Bunny Smiles employees. With the company greeting out of the way. Let's start Ugh. analyzing the relocate project by checking what has happened ever since the closure of Bonds four years ago. As many of you might have known from previous tapes, our beloved entertainers were safely secured in St. Juana's storage facility some months after the restaurant's closure. Oh. Later on, a good amount of business opportunities appeared, such as books, merch, animated movies, we even got a TV show. That's when Felix Kranken had the brilliant idea of restore and reprogram the robots of Bond's Burgers with the purpose of relocating them in a new restaurant that would be opened in a not-so-distant future. A pretty smart plan, right? Making enough money to eventually reopen the Bond's Burgers restaurant is no doubt a brilliant idea. So let's give it up for Felix Kranken, a man with not only a giant brain, but also a giant heart. That guy's face keeps putting me off. Oh, don't hide in the shadow, that's just gonna make it worse for me. Hello, purple rabbit. Banny, I mean. Well, that's Banny. Mouth is pre-located feature, however, it still remains simply. Employees must clean eye socket and dirty eyes. Yes. Someone's gonna flash, it's gonna scare the life out of me. Here we go. Annoyed board. Looking for friends, customers. Why is the music stopped? Oh god. It looks it's gonna look straight at me. Here we go. Oh no, the light's going out. Here we go. Yes, you're going to look straight into my face, aren't you? Oh. See somebody. That is a person! Now it's making it worse. Now that's creepy. 
Yes, look exactly at me, okay? Go! Rabbit tries to find a way out of the cage, but it's unsuccessful. The rabbit keeps trying to find a way out, or at least catch the owner's attention. The mighty rabbit must get out. The mighty rabbit needs to 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 get out. The rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. He's hungry and needs food. Oh the no, don't look starving. at that camera. You're not going to eat me. The rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. Just get it's some Uber Eats! Jesus Christ, just get some Uber Eats already and send it down. Told you you should've got some Uber Eats. See? Now you're staring at me and you're looking like you're gonna eat me, but you shouldn't do that because that's not natural. Okay, I'll take it back on the joke on the Uber Eats. Missing, Sarah something. The beat. There's an endoskeleton. Bunny farm. Into the food tip. There's the plushy gang. There's the sheep. We're taking a movie. Welcome to technical support. Today we will focus on the area tour and orientation inside K9, the Bunny Smile Storage Facility. Indeed. We recommend all facility caretakers to have all needed equipment in hand and to always wear the Bunny Smile uniform. Um, but most importantly, all Cut off of you must always under any circumstance use your BSI ID card. Once you have all the Let's necessary go, equipment at hand, we are ready to go. Hello, I see you made it to the storage facility. Yes, Brian had made it to the I bet you must be very excited and nervous to start working No, you'd again. be 100% terrified. But let's stop and think. Do you have all the necessary items for your job tasks? I thought so. Let's put on a nice backpack and start packing some items. Let's check the items you will require for your job at K9. Lantern. Watch. Check. Snacks. Check. Love money. Key. Check. Key. Camera. Camera. Check. Don't look at me, I'm not gonna steal your food, rabbit. Oh. Is that Billy the Puppet from Zora? <laughs> wow, it's pretty dark here. You should turn on the light. Someone's gonna jump scare. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. I'm pressing the turn button the to turn on the light. It's important to keep track of which rooms you enter. This place can be really tricky and you could get lost very easily. This is the resting room. In this room, you can sit down, rest, talk with co-workers, you name it. Remember to always keep this room as clean and organized as possible. A clean environment helps to get tasks done faster. A dirty environment only makes your job harder to get done. Well, no one's going there anyway. Look at the sheep's gone. We've lost a sheep! Alright, this is the main hall of the place. In front of you, you will find three doors. These are storage areas. The first door is used to save any kind of cleaning items and supplies. The second door is used to save a kind of prizes and merch that was available in a bond version. That rabbit plushy looks worse than before. Hide the, hide the, hide the, uh, hide the food? Hide the pizza? Hide the chicken? Someone walked, that was someone. Welcome to the basement. Right now, you are in the main storage area. As you can see, this is the room you live where we storage more important items such as stages, tables, arcade machines, and birthday props. Now, please follow me to the next door. Yep, it did. In the Bonds Burger restaurant, remember to avoid touching or shining lights with our robots unless you are a facility technician. Now let's move on to the next room. How are 
every number we visited this room already. Oh, I did. Well, that is a face! So Sophie became the sheep, okay. By the time the lady entered the backstage, as the voice told her to, missing husband wasn't there. Instead, she found a rat. So the rabbit killed the husband. Road broken. We'll fix you. Oh, you I get it, I get it, I get it, I get you it. Will beautiful. You will beautiful. Jesus. Bonnie killed Brian, she's looking for Brian. Bonnie kills her and now she's the sheep. Well, someone else killed sheep. She looks beautiful. So is Brian Bond? But on the inside. In July 1978, on which three Bunny Smell technicians volunteered for the relocate project. Where his left, right are Hillary, Ashley, and Kevin. Next footage shows three employees restoring Bond's burgers and animatronics. Oh no, but um, the place itself was open during a short period of time, in which um, there are a number of. Wow, that's that actually looks proper realistic. If it's actually a real place, Jesus Christ, you guys are doing a good job. Yeah, the police Brian closed after people Friday 13th. Texas Chainsaw Man? Yeah, just way to make it look sound a little off worse than usual. Don't you think I should take some time? I mean, we gotta move on with the others soon enough to finish everything by Friday. I mean, yes. But I think we should make them look as new as possible. That's the point, that's the point of this whole project, right? I mean, um, I think we should restore yeah. as much as we can, don't you Yeah, but if we keep focusing on these small details, the reprogramming of the robots won't be finished. Hey Kevin, I doubt we can add the blinked eyes feature on this one. I talk is a really damage. I'm also if like someone did this intentionally. Intentional. What do you mean? When the place closed down, someone from Tech, the company who created the robots, had to revise them after noticing a good amount of irregularities in them. Hey, well, During the process, they probably didn't they mean to get to the end of sales. Good night, guys. Ah, it is so cold in this place. Look at this key. What? Have you noticed how the company gives us this tiny key but never mentions its purpose? You should just overlook it. I mean, why would they give us a key with no use whatsoever? Exactly. It has to be for something interesting. Maybe, but we're, uh, running out of time. You should focus on finishing these robots by tomorrow. Right. Good night. Hello. This will probably be the last party today before we leave. So, yeah. Bad news. Your programming phase was unsuccessful. We had a lot of inconveniences when we tried to restore the robot. Some of the damaged parts in the and the models made it impossible to add the new features. And let's not forget the fact that we didn't have enough time to end the project. Yeah, we hope we can go back with better equipment and better deadline. As Hillary said, we're begging the company to allow us to return to a more organized plan. But for now, this ends the reprogramming phase for the uh, uh, re re relocation project. And log. I am using the camera because I am planning a binary where this key leads to. I'm sure whatever this key hides could save the project. I will show this footage to you guys once you wake up. I know you guys told me not to wander around, but I genuinely think this small key could be a lifesaver. It's not a lifesaver, it's probably your death sentence.
took me a while, but I realized the key leads to this door. They have a back doors. It seems like a small area, so I'll just go take a little peek. See if I can find anything interesting, and then go back. Simple. Death sentence. Uh, I'm just bigger than I thought. I don't think I have a so I'll just try and pick random doors and see what's inside. There are a ton of empty rooms with boring stuff. I came across this door, which, uh, which was open. Kind of weird. Anyway, this room seems to have some spare endo pieces, and from the looks of it, some unused animatronics, I guess? I won't go into detail about what I find, since I'm in a rush, of course, and... Uh, Call off the death sentence. This, this room number 26 or 27, I, I think? Um, as you can see here, there are some, uh, spare heads. Nothing I'm interested in, to be honest. I was some noise. Who's this man? He's a great rabbit. Well, great this is a rabbit. bizarre. I can't really tell if this buddy is a robot or a puppet, but like, you know, why is it hanging on the wall? This is really weird. Oh, there's a little clown man. And this is the last door. I am. I've never seen this clown thing before. It's Probably for the best. Really, like, there's absolutely no way I'm getting close to that thing. I'll probably wait till you guys see this video and come down here with me so we can take a close. Um, I found this. I'm pretty sure that clown thing had a cassette player installed. So I guess I'll have to be brave and, uh, try and see what this whole thing is. I don't really know why this dude has a cassette player thing installed. But my guess is that it's used for, um, for birthday parties. Like, you know, play a customized tape or something? I don't know. Makes sense. But we're about to find out. That now you're going to die. It's gonna be Bond. It's gonna be Bond. I'm calling Bond again. Where's Bond? <laughs> yes, it's Bond! <laughs> he wanted to be Bond. That's just terrifying. Because he dead. So all three of them are dead. Billy the Clown. It's gonna be her underneath it. It's gonna be her underneath it. There we go. Yes, indeed, it would be. Man, she just want to find the truth. The killer. Fiend. Music. That was actually interesting. So, a lot of stuff that I've just discovered, but I think I know is right. That this sheep is because it shows Brian, who is the guy who died in the last video. And as it is notable that when it cuts to this, they say that a wife is looking for her husband. Which means this must be Brian's wife, which means Bon must have killed his wife. Oh my god, yep, let's just skip that. Bon must have killed her and put her in that sheep. Which means Bon might be Brian and she might be the sheep. Which I don't know if that is right. Which then 
that also would make it that bon Bonds may basically be going on a kill streak, and the clown person is now the girl who just got murdered by Bond at the end. So yeah, that is it for today's VHS reaction, guys. Um, so yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you did, like and subscribe for more. And as well as comment down what else you want me to react to VHS wise, creepy videos, or anything else. So yeah, anyways guys, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.